Hey second graders, it's Miss Barnett. Today we're going to learn about comparing and contrasting on this Venn diagram. So since I love superheroes, I thought we could compare Batman and Superman. This gray circle represents all things Batman, and this red circle represents all things Superman. This combination of the gray and red represent the things that Batman and Superman share. This is called comparing and contrasting. We are finding the similarities and differences between Batman and Superman. So if we look at the just Batman section that's not overlapping, it says that Batman does not have superpowers. In the section that's just Superman, it says that Superman has superpowers. And in this middle section, the combination section, it says that both wear capes. And yes, if you look at the picture, you can see that both of them are wearing capes. So let's add some more qualities that make Batman, Batman. Batman has a Batmobile. That's something that Superman does not have. Only Batman. Batman has enemies like the Joker, Bane, and Harley Quinn. Those are Batman qualities. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. That's his secret identity. Now in the only Superman section, we need to add things that are just for him. So Superman can fly. Superman's main enemy is Lex Luthor. Clark Kent is Superman's secret identity. So if you take a look at our Venn diagram right now, you can see that this section is only Batman. This section is only Superman. So now we need to find things that are both Batman and Superman to put in the middle. For all my superhero fans and comic book fans out there, you'll know that both are DC characters. Both are good characters too. They're superheroes, not supervillains. And both try to defeat evil. So if you take a look at what we have right now, you'll see that this Venn diagram is full of things to compare and contrast the similarities and differences between Batman and Superman. And now our Venn diagram is complete.